It's October 20th, 2023. Kids ranging from elementary schoolers to high school seniors unite for a day that strings together the entire community. Lancer Day encapsulates the major pillars that serve as the foundation for Carlsbad student section, community, tradition, and inclusion. The students and young aspiring Lancers all celebrate the beautiful spirit that is Lancer pride, something that can't be replicated in a spirit that can never be broken. I think it's rare that you find people who really like their high school and have a lot of pride in it. Whenever you talk to someone from Carlsbad High School, they're a Lancer and they know it and they're involved more than students are in other high schools. Something that makes Loud Crowd so special is our undying spirit. We're loud, we're proud, we're excited to be in the crowd. There's nothing like it really. I mean, Loud Crowd is Loud Crowd, it's not just any other student section. With Lancer spirit flowing through the veins of every Carlsbad resident, the Loud Crowd doesn't just bring together the student body, but the entire city. Looking up and seeing the whole fan base, and not just the fan base, but the whole town is really a testimony to how much love there is for the school and the loud crowd as well. The whole rest of the stands are filled too with alumni, neighbors of the high school, people in the community, and it just shows that loud crowd isn't just for Carlsbad High School, it's a whole Carlsbad community event. Family members of current students have all come through Carlsbad High, and still at their core is the rich Carlsbad culture. My older sister, she brought me down to the Carlsbad High School football games. I knew from that moment I was going to be in the crowd and I wanted to be a leader. I am a third generation Lancer, I guess. My grandpa, grandma, mom, dad, and all my cousins went to Crossbow High School. It was just exciting being a small kid and seeing the high schoolers and knowing that was going to be me someday. It feels pretty cool to say that I've had three generations of Severinos go through Carlsbad ASB. I can't wait till I have kids one day and put them in Carlsbad High. And another aspect of our culture that keeps the heart of loud crowd beating is the inclusive environment here at Carlsbad. Our special education students are partnered up with some of our other seniors uh, as a part of the Best Buddies Club, and they formed a basketball team. And you know, what a beautiful moment it is for these students and you know, the high school memories that they're making through this program. I think Loud Crowd taught me how important it is to have community in your school and how it's cool to have school spirit, how it just makes it so much more enjoyable. And with each new school year, Carlsbad's Lancer pride lives on inspiring future generations to come. Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. We have a great show planned for you today. To start off, we have interviews with Across Gulf and Speech and Debate, Cora Wells, you're gonna we also have Izzy with the weather and Faye talking to us about some new renovations coming to Carlsbad. Sounds like a great show. Let's get it started. I'm Jacob Clark. I'm Cora Caldwell. And CHSCD starts right now. To start off, we have a wonderful story on an inclusive prom here in Carlsbad. Grady brings us his piece. While most spend their free nights relaxing, Richard Tubbs, an elementary school principal, spends this night at a unique place serving unique people. Being able to volunteer at Tim Tebow's Night to Shine was a phenomenal experience. What a privilege 
we were able to see all of these students at this event be celebrated. It's kind of a prom-like environment for them. There's dinner, dancing. They were able to go to a special area where they had their hair and makeup done, even their shoes shined. The Night to Shine is an organization put on by Tim Tebow, a former NFL player hosting prom to thousands of people on the spectrum who would otherwise never have one. Uh, they comment and reflect on how special and meaningful it is for their own children. And I think just to see the sense of um, joy and excitement that this entire environment, this entire setting, this entire event is designed just to celebrate their own child. But the focus is not just on the parents, as the Night to Shine is focused on making at least one night of an otherwise hard life special. So it's a, it's a fascinating event. Uh, I was talking to people who traveled over two hours just to come to this event, and they say it's a highlight of the year and something that they look forward to every year. And they're always looking for volunteers. So if this has your name on it, you can go to the church website, northcoastchurch.com, and you can volunteer for the next Tim Tebow Night to Shine event. Reporting for CHSTV from Carlsbad, California, I'm Grady Kunoff. Thank you, Grady, for that piece. Students, are you in need of some assistance in your classes this semester? With staff mentors and peer tutors presenting every day, CHS Study Hall offers a focused and helpful place for students to get the support they need to succeed. Find CHS Study Hall in the library's biography room every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school. Hey, sophomores and juniors. The CHS Counseling Department is inviting you and your families to our 2023 College Information Night next Wednesday, April 17th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Show up and you can learn about college admissions, financial aid, and more from our counselors and representatives from local colleges. Please see your grade level classroom to RSVP. Now we have Bella live with Girls Lacrosse. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with girls lacrosse to talk about how they're doing. So, Reese, how's your season going so far? Yeah, our season's gone pretty well. We're 8 and 3, we're on the up, and we're hyped for league games to start. All right, and when's your next game? We have a home game today at 7.30. And who will you be playing? We will be playing the Sage Geek Bob Kittens. All right, and Kara, do you want to start us off with the score predictions? Um, I think it's going to be 16-1. All right. 18-4. Okay, 20-5 win. 17-3. All right, I hope those predictions come to life, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you, Bella. This year's senior scholarship applications are now available via Naviance. Applications are due late April, and awards will be announced at the Senior Awards Night in May. Lancers, please do not park in the pool parking lot, block neighbors' driveways, or mailboxes, and be sure to pick up your trash. Law enforcement will be monitoring the parked cars and issue tickets or tows. Next up, Brody is on the video wall with some information on varsity golf. Take it away, Brody. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with some members of Varsity Golf talking about their season so far and their upcoming match. So how's your season been going so far? It's been going really good. We're first in league, and we're hoping to continue that. That's great. And then when and where is your next match? On Thursday at 4 p.m., we have a match against SDA at Anthony News Ranch. That's great. And now, um, what are your team goals for the season? Uh, our goals this year are to make it to state and win league. Cool. And now, lastly, any shout-outs? Shout-out Parker Carlisle. Shout out period two, Miss Downey. Shout out childhood prodigy, Brett B. Lax, period one, photo one. Thanks for coming on, and I'm going to send it back to Cora. Thanks, Brody. Seniors, don't forget that all of your community service hours and off-campus course transcripts need to be submitted through the registrar by May 1st. The lab is open and ready to assist you. Drop in and sign in any morning during zero period at room 7106. You do not need an appointment, and anyone can drop in. For our third and final live interview, we have AJ live in the studio with Speech and Debate. What's up, AJ? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here live with Speech and Debate to talk about their up-and-coming state comp. So what is states? Uh, so state is a big tournament of everybody in the Southern, Cal not Southern California, the California district. Uh, we have qualifiers, so all the qualifiers go and compete in one big tournament for the state champion. And when and where is your next comp? Yeah, so it's up in Clovis, California. It's this weekend, all weekend. We compete Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And how you guys been preparing for states? Yeah, so we've been prepping uh, debate cases and speeches and practicing after school, during class, and before school. Uh, sounds great. Any shout outs? Sarah Wheeler. Scarlett Savage, happy birthday. Shout out Apes Period 4 and Dylan Stolbo. Uh, sounds great. Thank you guys for coming on, and I'll send it back to the anchors.
Thanks, AJ. Need help with a tough essay, paragraph, poster, lab report, or any other writing assignment? Well, come visit the CHS Writing Lab on Tuesday, Wednesday, and or Thursday from 725 to 825 AM in room 3211. Everyone is welcome, even without an appointment. Guess what, Carlsbad? The Lancer Locker is now open. It's stocked with snacks, non-perishable food, personal hygiene, and so much more. Stop by the main office and visit Ms. Torres for more information if you are in need of these items. Teachers and students, if you would like to submit an announcement, go to chstv.com slash announcement and fill out the form. Now coming to you live via our DeGero satellite technology, we have Izzy live by the beach to give us a weather update on what we can expect in the following days. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here to give you a weather report for the week. So as you can see behind me, it is clear skies, and the high today is going to be 75 degrees with a UV of 7. Tomorrow on the following day, we're going to have a 74 and a 72 as our highest with UVs of 8. For Friday, however, we're going to get partly cloudy and it's going to be only a high of 67 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, we're going to have a 40% chance of rain and all cloudy. So make sure to soak up that sun while you can, tan while you can, and I'll send it back to the desk. Thank you, Izzy. Hope this weekend shines anyways. Now we have a magic window talking about some new renovations heading our way. What's going on, Faye? That's right, Cora. Today we are going to be talking about some local renovations that are going to be happening within the, few, the, within the next few years. So uh, starting off, we have Carlsbad Boulevard, also known as Highway 101. There's been a lot of talk by the Beach uh, Protection Commission in Carlsbad on how to protect the uh, iconic roadway from flooding and um, storms and weather. There's a lot of talk of rising sea levels in, in order to um, help preserve this road. They're going to be installing a lot of roundabouts and also rerouting some of the roadways. You can see here this sketch of what the boulevard is going to look like. They've added one, two, three roundabouts so far, and this design is subject to change, to change as they start the renovation. Now over in Oceanside, their iconic Oceanside Pier is also going to be going undergoing some innovation. They are planning to uh, once again take it down because of those rising sea levels and weathering storms. Their plan and their vision is to really include the community as they think about the amenities to add on to the pier. You can see here in these sketches the city of Oceanside release that they're really focusing on community involvement in order to make this space the best for Oceanside. Now back in Carlsbad, they're also adding a lot more speed bumps. We're also doing some curb extensions, really prioritizing pedestrian visibility. Carlsbad will make sure to keep you updated on where these renovations are happening so you can avoid that traffic and make it to school on time. Thank you, Faye. Now for tomorrow's story, we have a captain giving people amazing boat adventures. This is in the people that I get to meet and take out and seeing them be happy, you know, them enjoying themselves. That's the best thing I get out of this. Sounds like a great piece, so be sure to tune in for tomorrow's story. Make it a great day, Carlsbad. Bye.